What's up guys, Protobro here, infamous brother to Megabro. Alright, uh, episode 3 of our Let's Play of Johnny Reb. Uh, so we had the three choices that you saw, uh, two of which were basically day two options. One was to hit the flank, the other one was to attack Cemetery Hill. Uh, the third option was to attack Cemetery Hill today on 1 July, which is what we're doing. So as you can see, it's almost 4 o'clock. They have 14,000 troops, we have 20,000, so we definitely have the numerical advantage. We also have more guns. Which is almost never going to happen uh, when you're going against the Union. We also have 6,300 more troops on their way. They have 77, but we'll still have the numerical advantage. So you can see the layout here. We're kind of spread out a little bit. They're nice and consolidated here around Cemetery uh, Hill. I think what we're going to do is, as soon as I can, uh, I'm going to hit the flank right here. So I'm going to try and shift a lot of this down. Uh, we are kind of banged up though, and I'll give you the lay of the land here. <clears throat> So this is a very nicely defended position. I really don't think I'm going to go after Culp's Hill. Uh, not like, not with just this here. Uh, these guys don't have any combat. They haven't been in any combat yet, so that's really good. Uh, however, I've got to march them like all the way around. So I won't be able to really rely on them too heavily, at least initially. So we get these guys over here. Uh, we're going to send him around. I'll figure out what to do with these guys once they're in position. Um, I think because we're going to really kind of push here, I think this cornfield will be a nice little area to, to shelter our troops in. He'll be behind a wall, but I think what I could do is push from here, flank this so push here, push there, put this little defensive area here, and that'll be the crux of the push. So let's do that. All right, so he needs to, well, these guys are all kind of banged up, aren't they? Put him there. So this will be a nice little area for artillery, artillery. And then I think what I'll do, even though it's a little dangerous, is I'll move my artillery up with my front line as we approach. So let's try that. All right, so he, I need to move him a little bit. Uh, da, 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 let's put him there just so I can get my artillery on here. I'm a little back. All right, so we're gonna consolidate artillery in this area. Actually, you know what I probably should be doing is taking these guys, since they're closer. They're right there. Ooh, he got banged up pretty bad, huh? <clears throat> And I apologize, guys, it's going to take a little bit here. Move everybody out. And I may fast forward through this. You don't... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, I got some in the throat. <clears> throat. I may fast forward through this so you don't have to sit here and watch me do, those, do this all. But...
Alright, so let's get all these guys moving. As you see, there's a crap load of movement going on here. Probably forgot some people somewhere. Like him. Let's take him, move him down here. Sure, why not? Archer, who's completely banged up. Alright, so they got artillery here, here. Uh, right there. So I'm going to use my artillery to suppress, at least initially, until I'm ready to assault. So use artillery to suppress. Once I assault, I'm going to move my artillery up with my assault, put them into shell mode. Get my core commanders here so that he can raise the morale of everybody around him. He's got good cover there. He's got good cover too. See, I don't, you know, I obviously don't like them shooting my guys, but if they're going to shoot at anybody, I'd rather them shoot up there, so that works. Uh, let's see, Lewis. So I'm going to take these guys, actually. I'm going to put them here with, uh, I'm going to keep them up here. All right. To my artillery gets in place. I'm gonna wait to group them up. So there's Stuart. Okay. Oh come on, man. Nope. Ah. All right. So I don't know why they do that, but. It's like as soon as you do select them to shoot somebody, they're like, oh, let's stop right where we're at and do that. Nope. I want you up in the front. Okay. There's two. There's one. He's in pretty good shape. So Tom, that's actually good because our one of our strongest brigades, he's also a two-star, be holding down our flank. So he could probably withstand a decent amount for a good amount of time. Come on. There we go. I want him down there too. Time is at 4:15. Okay. Not quite sure where Gordon is going to play into this. He's also fresh brigade, hasn't suffered any casualties. Scales, we want down here too. Uh, let's see, this will be kind of a developing situation, I think. Yeah. So these sharpshooters only got two percent. Wallace, I'm trying to clip. There we go. Boom. All right, so Stewart, so we're gonna blast. This guy's condition are all kind of banged up right now. He's good. So these guys, I'm gonna use push down here. Smith, Parent, uh, Parent. What the? Yeah, he's pretty banged up too. Louisiana Tigers. All 
All right, let's push. No, I want you guys shooting Stuart. I don't care about Gamble. Cooper. Who is... Oh, Wallace. So once he's up a little bit, I'll start pushing Doles in. Get Doles supported. So I got O'Neill probably supporting Thomas. I think that's the way it's going to work. Doles is supported by Daniel. Uh, I think that's actually where Gordon's going to play into. I think it's going to be smart to support that that area right there. Uh, let's get him. Let's get Yule all up in there. Bees, knees. Iverson's going to push. Once the flank's committed, I'm going to push Iverson and the rest of these boys on up in there. Um, I hope I got enough brigades down there. Maybe bring Davis down. Oh, forgot our artillery piece. Pretty much wiped out Cooper. That's good. So he's got his open up in the field here. I like my guy's got nice nice cover. So I'm gonna swoop in O'Neill here. He's gonna put in support to Thomas. Hold him. Let's bring him down. Gordon looking. Yeah, condition's still kind of low. That sucks. Again, I don't usually use run too often, but I really want to get this cover here, so... Yeah, I'm definitely gonna want more, want more support down here. Davis is getting pretty banged up. We've we've leaned on him very heavily. This scenario, or this uh, this day, if you've noticed. Um, I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing, because he's only one star, but it is what it is. His brigades have been has been where I need him. So Cooper is going to. Keep pounding Cooper. Try to take it. He's almost out of the gun there. That's good. Uh, actually, probably at some point after Stewart here. Uh, these guys, number three here, getting ready to push them up once I move uh, the gun out of the way. General Johnson's division. Interesting. Ah, who's hit me? Ah, okay, Hall is just pounding the way there. All right, so bring him up. All right.
Okay. Core commander up. Core commander up. All right, let's do this here. So, okay, so we can take these three. It's not again. This is, this is kind of ballsy. A little dangerous, but I think it's worth the risk. Okay, let's take keep these two guys back just because they're already kind of hurting. Um, all right, and then these guys are gonna be out in the open, so hoping they don't get pounded too hard. Try not to pause it because I don't, you know, I kind of maintain some level of realism here, but. Shoot that guy. Jesus. There we go. Beautiful. Alright. What's he doing? 71, 54. What is Johnson at? Okay, so here's he. Uh, I, I don't know if they're going to really be able to participate in this battle, to be honest with you. It's already 5 o'clock. By the time they get in position, it seemed to me it just makes sense maybe to hold these. Oh, Stonewall's Brigade. Oh, beautiful. But remember, this is a marathon, not a race. So it seems to me it'd make a little more sense. Bring these guys around. If we can use them, we can. Otherwise, just uh, save them for day two. We're doing well here. I'm just worried about you know time is not on our side here. Um, here you know what? Uh, let's see. I'm getting like probably way too close in. Oh, come on, I want the artillery. This is probably a little too close, but whatever. Good canister. It is what it is. These guys, I want to do shell. Again, shell. I uh, kind of wish I could bring actually more artillery over there. Let's bring him down and around. Maybe I can give him, bring him in. Um, these guys I'll just keep normal, unless I can, I wonder if I can, we'll see. They might actually be close enough in where they can hit Biddle. Although they got Ramser in front of them, so I don't know if they can actually hit him. Although the train's a little bit different than the, than the height there, so. Uh, alright. Man, I wish I had another brigade down here. Actually, I do. Let's do this. Let's bring him up and around. Let's bring him forward. 12th Corps. What? Yeah, that's bull. I can't believe they can't just, like, shoot these guys. They may actually be... Oh, yeah, he's close enough for canister. All right. I want Biddle to collapse. Actually, so I gotta be careful here, so... Actually, yeah, because he'll f hit my flank. These guys are getting pounded by artillery over here. So I don't know how long they're gonna be able to hold. Biddle's gonna collapse here in a moment. No question about that. All 
Alright, let's bring those boys down here. What's up with him? Artillery Battalion Johnson. Excellent. So he collapsed. Um, mm, let's see here. So I want him blasting him. Let's push up the gut. All right. God, I hope I don't run out of time, man. I mean, things are going really well right now, but... Uh, it's almost uh, night time. Iverson's kind of banged up. He's got that open. He's got a nice little cover. Yeah, his morale's low. Probably because he's probably like wide out in the open, that's part of the problem. Alright. Why is he running? Don't run. Crazy ass. And he's got this nice defensive area. That's gonna be tough to dislodge him from. It was a good idea they didn't take uh, cem attack Cemetery Hill on the first day of fighting. As you can see, it's pretty freaking tough to take. Alright, uh, you guys need to go up and around. So, get over there. Jeez. You know, maybe I should charge them more, I don't know. I figure if you have guns, like, why do you run in with, uh, bayonets? That seems logical to me. Although, uh, maybe my answer is because they're behind, behind fortifications and I'm wide out in the open. Doi. Alright, so, we're gonna hit, we're gonna hit, uh, hit this guy right here. Three brigades right into Coster. Let's see what happens. See if I can turn his flank. If I can turn his flank, all of a sudden all these guys that are wide up in the open right now... Situation is gonna get much better. All right, uh, Stewart, get in there. Stonewall, get in there. Jones. My artillery is kind of bottled up now. I can't really do a whole lot with it. Oh come on, you guys are supposed to charge. Sweet. So battle delay means the game is supposed to be over, but because there's like a critical event going on right now, uh, it's allowing you to fight it out, which is just beautiful. All right. Oh man, he's got standard back there. I didn't see that guy back there. All right, keep pushing, boys. Keep pushing. Ah oh, man, he's getting tore up. I mean, this is this is a battle of epic proportions, man. I'm telling you. Alright, Paul's pulling back. It's because he sees his flank. Come on, come on, come on, boys. Let's 
see it. Nice, now we got the wall. No, don't end on me. Don't end on me. Oh, the victory thing's back there too. Ah, killer. Brutal. I'm sure there's people that are much better at this game than I am who could probably get all these victory points and make it look easy. This game is not easy, by the way. It is tough. I feel like we're doing a pretty good job too. All right. The problem is we just we haven't been able to use in each scenario we have not been able to like basically tactically maneuver the way I'd want to like if I had it my way I would have I would have loaded up on this flank first before this game before the battle started but I knew I was up against the clock so ah so frustrating so we lost 39 he lost 17 so we keep losing more guys uh, his artillery did the most kills holy crap look at that 700 dudes dead. Oh, you know, it was probably was when I was charging him. He was using the canister. Uh, Thomas's brigade, the best for us. 328. Um, and then a battery. That's nice. So 194 kills of that, even though we're focusing mostly on his artillery. Ah, uh, man. Brutal. So we got First Corps under Longstreet has not shown up yet. So they didn't. They weren't there. But we got all. I think all of the second corps. So it's Johnson got there, and you know we saw uh, Stonewall's brigade. So all of our second corps are, uh, was there. I'm not sure who of the Union, which corps aren't there yet. I know the sixth isn't there yet because Sedwick doesn't show up till day two. Sykes may have been there. Uh, but all right, man, brutal. All right, so. Let's see here. We can pick between crush the federal left or launch an attack on cemetery. As we saw, those defenses those defenses were pretty significant. Um, second corps up here, and then we've got that. Or we can go with the flank. So this is you know your I think this is the historical uh, days battle where Longstreet moved his first corps all the way up, then assaulted the the round tops. I don't know. First course here. Seems like an awful lot of maneuvering before we can actually get over there. We'll keep it in cemetery. I feel like we were doing pretty well. I mean, I don't know. This is a, this is like day three right here. But we would do it on day one. I don't know. Let's do this. Let's launch an attack on cemetery. Let's go a little bit of. Let's deviate from history a little bit. And we'll go with this one. Yesterday was a great day for the army. The Yankees couldn't hold our advance, which drew the south. The feds are deployed on high ground, so the town. We have to keep the pressure on and immediately launch a strong attack on the cemetery area. If we take those hills, we win the battle. Uh, Devil's Den, right? Um, which, you know, I'll, I'll probably go back and play a custom scenario of this later, so you guys can see it, but. Uh, let's do this one. 